greatest common factor of two multivariate monomials, we're asked to find the greatest common factor of these two expressions, and we'll notice that they each have a numerical part, and they each have a variable part. So we're going to have to handle those a little bit differently. First, looking at the number, we want to find the largest number that divides evenly. So it has to divide evenly into both of our numbers. So looking at the 18 and the 16, that's our numerical part, the biggest number that will divide evenly into both 18 and 16 is 2. So that gives us our numerical part. And then for the variable part, we have to think of that a little bit differently. For that, it is the maximum variables that they have in common. So the in common part. So looking at those variables, uh, it looks like they both have some W's, right? I see a W6 and a W3, so they both have W's, but the maximum number of W's that they have in common is three, because even though the first one has six, the second one only has three. So they both have at least three W's, so that gives me W3. And what else do they have in common? Uh, it looks like some V's. They have some V's in common. The maximum number of V's that they have in common is four. And that's because the first one has four of them, the second one has five. They have four in common because the second one has even more than four. So this is our greatest common factor.